this time on Highway Through Hell, head-on disaster. Wow, what a nightmare. Strikes in Alberta. This is absolutely insane. Pushing heavy rescue. Guys, watch yourself. Into battle. Looks like a war zone. And testing the limits. Get out of there, Johnny. Of every member of the team. On the highway to hell. The last line of defense is a heavy rescue team ready to tackle any disaster. Because closure is not an option. On Highway 1, Big Al steps in to clear the highway. Someone did something that he shouldn't have. The driver of the truck lost traction up on the coke's steepest part of the hill. He backed down and then jackknifed that truck. I'm going to give the trucking company a call to pick you up because I can't tell you I'm too busy. Hi, you have reached singles.com. For males, press 1. For females, press 2. Oh, I dialed the wrong number. Oh wait, I forgot to press 1. Lego trucking. There we go. Let's get back to the other number. On Highway 5, John heads to a broken down tractor trailer. Uh, where we are heading is for a broken down black Peterbilt in the ditch. Today, John is in a different wrecker. HR 64. We are here. So, uh, we'll lift it and take it home. I need this one little piece to release the brakes on the truck. If John can't release the brakes on his own, he'll have to call for help. I don't want to have to call for help again. I've had to call for Chris for every scene I've done. You have no idea for how happy I am. John has now finally done a call on his own. I just proved myself to Jamie Davis. 1,200 kilometers northeast. It can get really dangerous on these highways. You have distracted drivers and mother nature to defeat. With Jamie Davis coordinating from his new base in Edmonton, he's relying on his Alberta crew to handle those problems. Just after 1 p.m., Colin McLean gets an urgent call from the RCMP. Tanker trailer and logging truck both burnt to the ground. A fuel tanker and a logging truck collided head on. Oh yeah, we'll be working on this for a while. One year ago, Colin was brand new in Alberta. Two weeks ago, I threw him in the rotator. I'm definitely having to step into the shoes of the senior operator. Wow, this is just insane. The highway has been shut down for hours on Highway 881. Lots of money sitting here. Heavy Rescue's Colin McLean arrives, and so does Jamie's powerful wrecker, yet the rotator. We got logs all over the place. It all folds down to Jamie's senior operator. When you get to a job like that, it makes you shake your head. So I need Colin to be the guy he can be and get the highway open. Six hours ago, the two trucks collided on Highway 881. Incredibly, both survived the crash. I'm on these highways all the time. I could have been one of them. It'll be a while before we get to the recovery. 
Just after 8 p.m., HR 68 arrives with operator Johnny Tipton. An accident like this just kind of pecking order of how things happen, yet you have patience, they can go on and on and on. And 10 minutes later, Jason and the flat deck arrive to tow the pickup. The pickup is off the road, but Colin's night has just begun. Kelly Davis, do you read me? Colin is missing an important part for this recovery, the landall. An accident like this, nothing can be towed. It all has to go into a low bed. Kelly Davis, do you copy? Colin rigs up to the frame that was hauling the logs and then loads it onto the flat deck. How are we looking, Johnny? Looking good. As I'm lifting, pieces are flying off. The frame was totally destroyed. Colin's next job is the fuel tanker. 25 to 150. Colin needs the last part for this recovery, Kelly and his low bed. Holy f Kelly, grab some gears, would you buds? If you can't find them, grind them. Time for coveralls and get to work. The plan is for the rotator to pull from the front and then HR-68 to pull the back end. But as the crew rigs up, they find a new danger. Right now I'm standing on 6,500 liters of gasoline. You can smell it in the air. With a strong odor <coughs> of gasoline, it can make you pass out. So we're working hard, cycle in, cycle out and the fumes from the tanker are making it hard to breathe. The rotator is equipped with oxygen masks, but right now the crew is focused on getting this wreck out. Nobody is on fire, no explosions. With the tanker on the side of the road, Colin needs to get it loaded onto Kelly's low bed. What I want to do is a California and roll. Colin and Johnny will lift the tanker in the air and rotate it onto its wheels. Then Kelly Davis will back underneath it. Here's a one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. But Colin needs to adjust the chain. He sends rookie Johnny to adjust it. Never risk yourself underneath a load. Never. Safety is our number one issue when going to an accident scene. This is just starting to piss me off. Thank you! There's a reason why we replace the trucks every four to five years. It's important to have top line, front line equipment that'll handle a job like this and keep the guys safe. After hours of waiting, the traffic on Highway 881 is finally moving again. My level of confidence with Colin has increased compared to last year. He's handling bigger jobs and he's taking on a bigger role in the company. Have a good night and drive safe. Next time on Highway Through Hell, this one's going to be a challenge. Five wrecks in one when a semi plows off a bridge. How the hell did he do that? Stranding holiday travelers. You be careful. And forcing the rookies in hope. I hope John can pull this off to take on a raging river. John, go up! Pushing the wreckers to their limit with the recovery falling apart. <laughs> <laughs>